Just a little bit. In fact, a little bit more. But tomorrow we'll gather together again. Non stop japes. From four o'clock. Hope to see you then. Have a gorgeous Wednesday night. Joe on the way next. This is Radio 2. We're on the BBC Sounds up on your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM. We're the BBC News at 7 o'clock. This is Jason Kay. It's been confirmed that Prince Harry will come to King Charles's coronation, but his wife Meghan will not attend. It'll be the first time Prince Harry will be seen in public with other members of the royal family since the publication of his controversial memoir, Spare. Joe Biden has urged the main political parties in Northern Ireland to return to power sharing. The US president met the leaders of the five main Stormont parties and the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak on a visit to Belfast to mark the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement. The Labour leader, Sakir Starmer, said the US had an interest in protecting peace in Northern Ireland. The US is a very important ally and played uh, an important part in the Good Friday Agreement. I think it's in everybody's interest uh, that we might move forward in the spirit of the Good Friday Agreement and I think all of us want to see the institutions in Northern Ireland back up and running. That's the best outcome from all of this Uh, and America of course um, as a close ally has had a part in the history of that uh, and a party in the present of that as well. The Scottish Government will launch a legal challenge to the UK Government's decision to block its gender recognition reform bill. The legislation would make it easier for people in Scotland to self-identify in a different sex. Scotland's First Minister Hamza Yusuf previously described the use of a so-called Section 35 order, giving Westminster the power to block Scottish legislation, as an undemocratic veto. Kirsty Blackman is an SNP MP. This is the first time that Section 35 has been used. This is about protecting Scottish democracy and about protecting Scottish devolution. We have a situation where this is overstepping into devolved areas and it's not acceptable and we cannot allow that to continue. The Metropolitan Police has confirmed that the former Radio 1 DJ Tim Westwood has been questioned twice under caution over five alleged sex offences. Officers say that investigations into the accusations are ongoing, but no arrests have been made. BBC News has contacted Mr Westwood for comment. A 19-year-old man has been charged with manslaughter after a boat carrying migrants sank in the channel last year. Four people died. An inquest has been told the unidentified victims may have been from Afghanistan and Senegal. From Kent, Simon Jones reports. It was just after two o'clock in the morning on the 14th of December that the boat started to sink off the coast of Dungeness. A passing fishing vessel helped rescue 39 people, but four people died. Ibrahim Abar, who's 19 and of no fixed address, has been charged with four counts of manslaughter after an investigation by the Kent and Essex Serious Crime Directorate and the National Crime Agency. He will appear before magistrates in Folkestone tomorrow. Tesco has cut the price of milk in a possible sign that food price rises could be easing. Britain's largest supermarket said it would reduce the cost of a pint by 5 pence to 90p. The average cost of milk rose by 43% between February 2022 and the same month this year. And the weather, strong winds across the south of the UK will gradually ease tonight, but showers will continue in many areas. And that's the BBC News at three minutes past seven. Thank you, Jason. Joe Wiley's shiny happy playlist. There's going to be big tunes. Blowing the roof off radio too. Shiny happy. If you want to get absolutely bouncing, this is where it's at. BBC Radio 2. We've got massive tunes lined up for you tonight, all in the Shiny Happy Playlist. It's an half hour of really great songs to just ease you into the evening. Uh, if you would like a mention on the show tonight, of course, it's 88291. That's 88291 on the text. And the email is joe.wiley at bbc.co.uk. Here we go. The Shiny Happy Playlist on BBC Radio 2. Where? 